Welcome back to the AAA MF YouTube channel. Today we are at Lamborghini London and we are going to show you something very special. The Performante in my last video, we did a review of that, concluded it was a fantastic car. I think Tim enjoyed it as well, right? Definitely. We loved it. But today we're not going to go out in the Performante. We've got a Performante Spider to test drive. Now I've ordered the Performante Spider. Hopefully it'll be coming within the next three or four months. And it's a pretty big game changer for me because I've got three Porsches and a McLaren and I'm actually selling my McLaren to get a Lamborghini. So it's going to be my first Lamborghini. Tim, I think you're still excited? Yeah, Lamborghini is my favorite car brand by far. So. V10 engine. So I think the V10 engine on the Lamborghini is amazing and I've never wanted to own one until now. Now I had a Gallardo convertible a friend lent me a couple of years ago, but I didn't like the fact uh, that the single clutch gearbox was quite jerky, but now they put the dual clutch gearbox into the Performante, I think it's like the perfect naturally aspirated supercar. So let's go out and see what it's like. I believe there's only three of these in the country. And we're going to get to drive it. Are you excited? I am. Oh my God, look at that. now from HRO in in the Performante Spider about to go for my first drive I am super super excited um, Steve are you super excited or are you nervous I days no never nervous never nervous not with a pro, <laughs> pro. right here we go so, uh, this car's been sitting outside the showroom for only a few minutes and everyone starts crowding around this car it gets so much attention you really are not going to make many friends if you put it in Corsa mode, right? It's pretty loud in the Corsa mode. Oh, oh. Do you get evil licks when you do that? Yes. <laughs> are you only allowed to do that on a racetrack? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Should we put it into Sport or Strada? Uh, well, Sport's nice because it, it uh, calms it down just a little bit. Right. Um, you, but it's uh, still rude. Well, you lose the aero, but obviously you don't use much aero around South Kent. That is so one of the people asked me on Instagram when I posted a photo of one of these cars, does the aero actually work when it's a convertible? Do you still get that full effect that is of a, the that aero? That is a very, very good uh, uh, question. And the answer is yes, you absolutely do. It 
still works? Yeah, absolutely do. But it only works in coarser mode? Absolutely. Okay. And you get you get some extra revs and, uh, and stuff and all the rest of it. So things to be fair, if you wanted everything. a hardcore track car, you'd get the coupe, right? You're going to go to the uh, track. Yeah, but I think the thing is, is uh, in this day and age, chassis technology is so good now that you don't really lose uh, any kind of ride quality or, or any kind of. Um, targeted efficacy really it's, it's quite remarkable how that's changed so we're putting it into strata mode now so we can actually talk so what i was saying in the showroom was this is a big game changer for me because this is the first lamborghini that i've actually wanted to buy and it's not a cheap one either um but i always felt like the gallardo was missing the dual clutch gearbox and i wanted the dual clutch gearbox and now they brought it out on the performante and the one criticism I'll have of the Performante is you don't hear that lovely engine because you've got no convertible. And also, I felt that the, um, the Performante, the vision outside of the car, isn't brilliant. They haven't really designed it with the driver in mind, I think, you know, with a vision in mind. Whereas I've been driving a McLaren 650S for a year, the vision out of that's much better. But now you've got the roof down, you, got, you can see everything. And uh, as Jeremy Clarkson says, one million miles of headroom. <laughs> but I think they've really got this car right. The Performante is like everyone that's done a review of Performante and every single owner that I speak to say it's amazing. The car's amazing. It handles well. The steering is really sharp. Do you think the build quality's come on in Lamborghinis in the last few years from the Gallardo? Um. I think if you look at the uh, at the final sort of two three years of the Gallardo, the, uh, that car was just immensely strong. I mean, really, really was. Uh, with the uh, Performante, with the Huracan, it, it's it, it's then plus tax. The the reliability on these is, and the build quality is absolutely exceptional. So just talk us through the difference between this and a Huracan. Uh, if you're comparing it, obviously, between a, a, this and a 610, then um, I have to say even I was not really prepared for the difference that you can experience between the 610 and, uh, uh, and this. Obviously, uh, you've got that little bit more horsepower, but that's only the... So it's about 30 brake horsepower difference? Not far off, and, yeah. but that, that's only really part of the story because the aero being um, dynamic as it is, and uh, vectored as it is with uh, the ALA is really quite remarkable. You can feel it. Um, just the whole car just feels more poised, uh, more involving. So is this a different better. steering rack? Is this like a racing steering rack on this car? No, the ratio is still the same, but um, you can certainly feel that the software has been tweaked in the car as well. Right. So there's stuff that they'll never tell you about as a state of development in the car. But certainly when you jump in it, you can just feel it's a completely different proposition to the 610. Show people what happens when we put it into Corsa. Here we there you go. There you go. Look. There you go. We got that. Corsa Sport. Corsa Sport. So the whole thing changes to a rev counter when we go into Corsa mode. So that was Sport mode. I'm really surprised at how loud it is in Sport mode. So all that's left to say is thank you to Steve for letting me take this car out for a spin. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to getting my one and. Um, Go and subscribe because we've got some really exciting videos coming up. And we'll leave you with awesome mode in the Performante Spider.